I'm excited about the fact that I think we are at the cusp of a major transformation for what could happen in the industry. So when you look at the fundamentals going forward, many of those that have driven this incredible progress are still in place. Or well, The world economy is projected to double within the next 10 years, another 3 billion consumers in emerging markets. Secondly, you've got demographics. I mean, the, the, the global society has never been older than it is now. You then add to that, of course, massive unmet need, uh, which is still remaining, despite the incredible progress on multiple fronts. A few of the specific things that I see coming together uniquely now, you know, one is just technology and innovation. Uh, the rate at which new medicines are being approved is finally starting to change. We're seeing a slight inflection point on that. Another interesting space that is influencing change right now is just the fundamental structure of the industry. Despite the fact that we have had so much deal and M&A activity in the last two years, Fundamentally, if you look at how concentrated the industry is now versus even 2006, the industry is much more fragmented and diverse now than it ever has been before. You know, if you could take the different elements of data, digital, widespread use of technology and advanced analytics, you know, I think even five, five to seven years ago, some of the things that are now happening, you know, one would have said were relatively futuristic. But, you know, with everything from the sort of the, the enablers of the massive widespread use of, you know, say machine learning, the expansion of social technology, you know, advances in sensors and other technologies around that, together with just an explosion of data on the healthcare side, whether it's electronic health records and the ability to integrate data sets has just moved forward massively. From our own estimates, we see that as having something like a 15 to 30 percent impact on the EBITDA kind of uh, level of a, of, a, of a typical large farmer or med product company. In my view, I think we're entering into an era where this is going to largely be about making choices. There are choices on distinctiveness and where companies want to differentiate themselves. For years we've had a notion that a fully integrated pharmaceutical company is the traditional operating model and it's proven to be a very successful operating model, but a number of things are challenging that. Can any individual company truly be the best discoverer of medicines, the best to take them through clinic, the best to manufacture them at scale at a reasonable cost, the best to convey the value proposition of these medicines to payers to providers to patients, then I believe companies are going to have to make discrete choices on which parts of the value chain they think they can be distinctive at and can make a meaningful impact to patients and to the industry. The ecosystem now around getting, getting your, your drug to the right patient at the right time at a price that's both you know, fair to you and, and, and works for the system is now incredibly uh, complex. Uh, with everything, as we know, from health technology assessments to real-world evidence to just a whole range of stakeholders whose agendas we need to have far better insights on uh, than we've ever had before. And I think that's challenging even on a day-to-day -day level. Companies are also going to think about, have to think about, what are their collaborations and their partnerships with other stakeholders. How companies manage through that complexity and how they build a set of contracts and partnerships, both formal and informal, with an ever-increasing complex web of stakeholders, I think is going to define the winners from the losers.